hands over the foundation of the arms, nice and steady, come all the way through and sit down. Left leg half lotus position, steady with that external rotation of the left hip joint. Bend your right knee, moving your torso forward and into the internal rotation of your right hip joint. Then fold your torso laterally around your right thigh, binding your hands behind your back. Keep lifting the torso up and out of the pelvis, squeezing the lower ribs gently in towards the central axis. Remember that this is one of the hardest postures in the whole primary series. Too quickly, just breathe, follow the technique, and more importantly, listen to your body. Inhale. Slowly exhale, come all the way out of the posture, release, then cross your feet, prepare to jump back. Ashto, inhale, lift your hips up off the ground, Nava, exhale, Chaturanga. Dasha, inhale, upward facing, Ekadusha, downward facing. Bend your knees, Dwadusha, inhale, left side, Marichasana D, prepare. Dropping your hips over the solid foundation of the arms, slowly pulling in towards the center line, using your core strength to straighten your legs and sit down. Right leg half lotus position. Use the external rotation of your right hip joint to move deeply into the posture. Bend your left knee. Roll everything forward and keep your left leg into internal rotation as you spiral your right arm all the way around, binding your hands. You can reach your fingers or your wrist. Take the bind, keeping the belly sucked in, rolling your torso and laterally around your left hip joint. Feel the emptiness in the center of the body. Find your sense of peace and spaciousness, even in this complicated posture. Allow the mind to be focused deep within. Inhale, exhale. Take your hands down to the ground. Come completely out of the posture. Hands to the floor. Cross your feet. Trayogdisha. Inhale, lift up. Chakturdisha. Jump back. Chaturanga. Panchadisha. Inhale. Shodisha. Exhale. Navasana. Sapta. Inhale. Bend your knees and jump your hips over the solid foundation of your arms, engaging your pelvic floor, keeping them straight this time if you can, sliding all the way through and coming right directly into Navasana. Point your toes, squeeze your thighs together, firm your core, and stretch out your arms. Keep the shoulders parallel with your hands and the arms parallel with the ground. Reach forward and up with your toes as you squeeze in from the center of your body, five steady breaths. Gaze forward toward your toes, then hands down, ashto, inhale, take it up, exhale down. Sapta again, Navasana. Come back up, we're gonna repeat this five times. Gaze forward towards your toes, arms straight, Protract your shoulders and involve the shoulder girdle in this activity too. Connect this all deeply into your pelvic floor. Set your mind with strong determination that you're willing to stay. Hands down, ashto, inhale, take it up, and exhale down. Sapta again, Navasana. Point your toes, gaze forward towards the toes. Enjoy the movement that brings fire and heat into the center of the body. Enjoy the strengthening exercise that is the heart of the purification Hands to the floor, ashto, inhale, take it up, and sapta again, navasana. Point your toes, squeeze your thighs towards each other, pull the heads of your femurs into their sockets to deepen the activation of the legs into the core and into your pelvic floor. Hands to the floor, ashto, inhale, take it up, lift high, and exhale down. Sapta again, come back to navasana. Point your toes, squeeze your elbows towards each other, Keep your mind steady and calm, the breath equanimous and deep, the mind focused on the sensations of the subtle body as well as the physical work that it takes to hold. Then, ashto, inhale, lift up, and sapta again. Last time, navasana. Ooh. Set your mind with strong determination that you're willing to stay the course. Gaze forward towards the toes. Keep protracting the shoulders. Keep the abdominal muscles squeezing into the center. Then, ashto, inhale, up. Nava, exhale, chaturanga. Dasha, inhale, upward facing. A Kadusha, exhale, downward facing. Prepare for Bhuja Pidasana. Sub the inhale, jump your hips forward over the solid foundation of the arms. And then slowly open the legs as you control the balance with your pelvic floor, sending the hips down as you bring the shoulders forward, wrapping your thighs and your knees around your upper arms. Then Ashto, exhale, cross your ankles and aim your chin down to the ground. Keep your toes off of the ground, squeeze your thighs, Squeeze your toes in towards the center line. Keep pressing with your shoulders as you grip your fingertips slightly. And then Nava, inhale, take it up, stretch out your legs. Dasha, take back your legs to Bakasana position, A Kadasha Chaturanga. Dwadasha, inhale, upward facing. Trayogdasha, exhale, downward facing. Preparing for Supta Kurmasana, starting off in downward facing dog. Supta, inhale, 
Jump your hips over the solid foundation of the arms, sucking in the low belly and spreading your hips wide apart. Then slowly lower your thighs around the shoulders, keeping the legs straight and gently bend your elbows to lower down into Kurmasana position. Take the elbows under your thighs and flatten yourself down. Elongate your torso between the thighs while at the same time squeezing your thighs onto your shoulders. Point your toes as you lift your heels off of the ground and then gently reach your pelvis back and up off of the ground as well. Shoulders down, chin down, gaze forward at the tip of the nose. Keep the low belly sucked in, creating hollowness and spaciousness deep in the center of the pelvis. Then exhale, release. If you're sitting up and getting into it, use the external rotation of the hip joint to move both legs behind the head. Take the left leg first, then sit up nice and tall. Keep the neck back to lock the leg in place. Then take the right leg and use your toes through the X to support the external rotation of placing your legs behind your head. Make sure the neck is strong and press back and up. Then bend your elbows, lowering your forehead to the ground, lifting your elbows up to take the hands. If you're moving into Supta Pramasana from the ground, you'll notice that it's a little bit different. Ashto, you take back your hands and bind them together, and then Nava, exhale while you cross your feet. This motion from the floor, you need to have the hands locked behind you to support the collarbone. When you're in Supta Pramasana, feel like you're a tortoise pulling back into the depths of your inner shell, so you can breathe into the emptiness deep in the center of the pelvis. After five breaths there, hands to the floor, keep your feet crossed, Dasha, inhale, take it up, straighten the elbows, look up, and then stretch out your legs Legs, releasing the feet, straighten them out, and take back your legs to Bakasana position. A Kadasha, change the position, hold it for a moment, squeeze in from your pelvic floor, Dwa Disha, exhale, Chaturanga. Trayo Disha, inhale, upward facing. Chaktur Disha, exhale, downward facing. Equalize the pace of inhalation, the pace of exhalation. And if that posture was difficult for you, you can always repeat. Moving on to Garbha Pindasana, Sapta, inhale, jump all the way through, straight legs, sit down. Then, Ashto, exhale as you take lotus position. Pause here and make sure the lotus is nice and deep. Then reach your right hand first through the hole between your calf muscle and your thigh. Then cup your fingers and reach the left hand through. Then gently hold on to your ears, wrapping your fingers all the way around your face and gaze towards your nose. Keep the low belly sucked in and use this inward suction to really help you find your bandhas and find the depth of your pelvic floor. Wrap your fingers up towards your head to create a small tight ball. Nava, exhale, rounding. Exhale back, inhale up. 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 And if you need one extra little rock, come all the way up. Nava, inhale, kukutasana. Take it all the way up and press up with the shoulders. Squeeze the low belly deep inside. Eventually, those five rocks take you directly into the posture. Really use your pelvic floor to pull it up and forward like you're pulling your pubic bone forwards to the navel. Gaze forward towards the tip of the nose. Keep pressing up with the shoulders and exhale down. Take your hands out and see if you can maintain the lotus. Dasha, inhale, take it up off the ground. Use the power of your pelvic floor to lean forward and lift up. A Parasha Chaturanga. Dwa Disha, inhale, upward facing. Trayo Disha, exhale, downward facing. Next mm -hmm. posture is Padha Konasana. Sapta, inhale, jump all the way through by moving your hips over the solid foundation of the arms, and then exhale, slowly lowering through your arms to come all the way down, straighten your leg. Next, fold your heels in towards your pelvis, bending your knees completely. Lock the knee joint into place, hold underneath the base of the big toe, and Ashto, exhale, straight spine, chin down, fold forward. Allow your sitting bones to come off the floor to pivot deeper into your hip joints. Then draw your pubic bone back, suck in the low belly, and only after you're as flat as a pancake, think about dropping your sitting bones towards the ground. Nava, inhale, come up, and Baddha Konasana B. Dasha, exhale, fold your forehead down to your toes. Even though the official gaze is towards the tip of the nose, take a little peek at the low belly and make sure that it's sucked in so that you can feel the emptiness and the hollowness deep in the center of the pelvis. A Kadasha, inhale, straight spine, come up, exhale there. Hands to the floor, Dwa Disha, inhale, cross your feet, find your pelvic floor and lift up. Trayo Disha, exhale, jump back, Chaturanga Dandasana, lower down. Chaktura Disha, 
Shah, inhale, upward facing. Panchadi Shah, exhale, downward facing. Preparing for the next posture, Upavishta Konasana. Sapta, inhale, jump all the way through, and then exhale, gently sit down. Spread your feet wide apart and hold on to the outsides of the feet. Grip the outsides of the feet firmly and Ashto, exhale, fold. In this posture, ground your sitting bones by rolling the trochanters back and down. Aim your chin to the ground and eventually the shoulders down, but keep the low belly sucked in. If you're far away from the ground, touch the forehead to the ground, but don't pull with the arms. Simply surrender into gravity and let gravity take you there gently. Nava, inhale, look up, exhale there. Dasha, inhale, lift the whole posture up off of the ground, ideally with straight legs. Gaze upward, lift your sternum up and forward, point your toes, suck in the low belly, and spread your legs as wide apart as you can, using the full extension of the shoulders to support the legs. Root the posture down into your pelvic floor so you can feel the length and the spaciousness even as you strengthen. Cross your feet, hands to the ground. Ekadesha, inhale, lift up. Dwadesha, exhale, chaturanga. Prayogdesha, inhale, upward facing. Chakturudesha, exhale, downward facing. Keep the belly sucked in. Prepare for the next posture. Sapta, inhale, jump your hips over the foundation of your arms and exhale slowly all the way through. Supta, konasana, exhale, lie all the way down. And ashto, inhale, lift your legs all the way up over the top of the head. Hold on to your big toes. Spread your feet wide apart as you suck the belly in. Keep lifting the hips powerfully up and forward even as you press into the base of your big toes to reach them down towards the ground. Spread your feet as wide apart as you can given any compromises you might have to make in relation to space in your home or if you're taking a class in relation to the class. Low belly reaches into the center of the body to support the whole rolling movement that you're preparing for. Then Nava inhale roll up and exhale pull on your toes as you exhale land on your calf muscles and then exhale chin down. Dasha, inhale, take it up. Exhale there, firm the pelvic floor. Hands to the ground. Ekadesha, inhale. Cross your feet, lift up from your pelvic floor. Dwa Disha, exhale, chaturanga. Trayog Disha, inhale, upward facing. Chaktur Disha, exhale, downward facing. Bend your knees, Sapta, inhale. Jump all the way through for Supta Parangusthasana. And exhale, lie down. Squeeze your thighs towards each other, hold the top of your thighs, and prepare for the right side. Ashto, inhale, lift your right leg, hold on to your right toe. Nava, exhale, lift up to fold forward as you move your forehead towards your shin. Stay here for five breaths, using the strength of your pelvic floor to really lift up. Keep pressing your left heel down as you breathe into the center of the body. Dasha, inhale, head down. Ekadesha, exhale, bring your leg out to the side. Keep the belly sucked in and that left hip firmly grounded. Use the external rotation of your right hip joint to relax the inner thigh, allowing the trochanter to drop back and down. Gaze over your left shoulder. Keeping the low belly sucked in will create the stable foundation for the whole posture. Dwa, disha, inhale, back to the center. Trayog disha, exhale, lift up. Chaktur disha, inhale, head down. Pancha disha, exhale, leg down. Left side, show disha, inhale. Sapta disha, exhale, lift up to fold forward. Use your abdominal muscles, try to lift your lower ribs off of the ground as you fold in towards the center line of your body. Press your right heel down and maintain the pressure down through your right hip. Asta disha, inhale, head down. Ekuna vim shaftihi, exhale, leg down, out to the side. Use the external rotation of the left hip joint to go deeper into the posture. Press down through the heel on the right side and gaze over your right shoulder. Keep the low belly sucked in. The breath is calm, steady, and equanimous. The mind is inwardly focused. Vim shatihi, inhale to the center. Eka vim shatihi, exhale, lift up. Dva vim shatihi, inhale, head down. And trio vim shatihi, exhale, leg down. Scoot forward to the front of your mat, hands under your shoulders. Chato vim shatihi, inhale, chakrasana. And step your hands forward, exhale, chaturanga. Pancha vim shatihi, inhale, upward facing. Shat vim shatihi, exhale, downward facing. Ubaya Parangustasana. Sapta, inhale, bend your knees and jump your hips over the solid foundation of your arms, and then exhale, come all the way through to straight legs, and sit down, and then exhale, lie down. Ashto, inhale, lift your legs all the way up over the top of the head, hold on to your big toes, squeeze your thighs towards each other. Nava, inhale, roll up with straight legs and a straight spine, look up. Straighten the arms, point your toes, keep the belly sucked in. From your navel down to your pubic bone, drop it deep into the center of your body. Squeeze your inner thighs towards each other, but don't overactivate the legs. Pull the heads of the femurs into their sockets to deepen the hip flexion. 
gaze upwards to lift the energy up through the spine. Then hands to the floor. Dasha, inhale, take it up. Ekadasha, exhale, chaturanga. Dwadasha, inhale, upward facing. Trayogdasha, exhale, downward facing. Urdva Mukha Pashimottanasana. Sabda, inhale, jump forward and through, bringing the hips over the solid foundation of the arms, pivoting your body around the axis of the shoulder joint, and then exhale, lie down. Ashto, inhale, lift your legs up over the top of the head. This time, hold the outside of the foot down near your heel. And Nava, inhale, roll up, balance with straight arms, straight legs. And then Dasha, exhale, bend your elbows to fold into your hip joints and move your forehead to your shin. Or if you can find the balance, chin to the shin and gaze up towards your toes. Keep pointing your toes as you squeeze the legs towards each other. Ekadusha, inhale, straighten the arms again, lift your head and look up. Exhale there, find your pelvic floor. Then release the feet, hands to the ground. Dwa Disha, inhale, lift up. Trayog Disha, exhale, jump back, go down. Chiktur Disha, inhale, upward facing. Pancha Disha, exhale, downward facing. Setu Bandhasana, last posture of the primary series. Except the inhale, jump through, and lie all the way down as you jump through. Then, Ashto, prepare for Setu Bandhasana. Bend your knees out to the side, heels together, toes apart, arch your spine like you're doing fish or Matsyasana. Hold on to your shoulders and Nava, inhale, send your hips up to lift up off the ground. Straighten your legs and once the legs are straight, point your toes and reach them to the ground. Aim the forehead all the way down onto the mat so you can roll all the way over. Let this be a back bend that really creates length and space through your whole body. Dasha, exhale down, like all the way down. Hands under your shoulders. Ekadasha, inhale, Chakrasana. Roll all the way backwards, pivoting over the axis of the shoulders. Then exhale, lower down to Chaturanga Dandasana. Dwadasha, inhale, upward facing. Trayogdasha, exhale, downward facing. Now you've completed the primary series, which means we're ready to begin back bending. Urdva Dhanurasana, Sapta, inhale, jump your hips over the foundation of the arms, and then exhale, lie down. Come to a moment of complete rest and let your mind be relaxed and free. Then, Ashto, prepare, bend your knees, feet hips width apart, hands underneath your shoulders. Follow the technique through back bend, and then prepare mentally and physically in one big inhalation. Nava inhale lifts all the way up, coming onto your head only if you need to. Straighten the arms, straighten the legs, lift your hips up and forward, and release your back bend with the power of your pelvic floor. Straighten the elbows, squeeze them towards each other, relax the neck, breathe long, steady, and deep, relax the mind soften their inner awareness and if your back feels good walk your hands a little bit in closer to your heels but don't push that until your back feels nice and good after five breaths dasha exhale down then walk your hands next to your ears nava inhale straighten the arms straighten the legs lift up again send your hips up and forward and try to keep the hips and the ribs at about the same height avoid lifting one higher than the other to create a nice even bow through the whole posture create the space deep inside of the body and if you have a little space Walk your hands a little closer to your heels, but no stress. Dasha, exhale down. One more time. Nava, inhale, take it up. Send your hips over the foundation of the arms, and then walk forward. Even if your toes turn out a little, keep pressing into the base of your big toes. Then inhale, come all the way up to standing. Then working on your drop backs. Push your pelvis forward, inhale, and then exhale. Take your hands down to the ground using your breath. Then send the hips up and forward and inhale, come up. Exhale, send the hips forward and drop your hands to the floor, rolling through the spinal extension. Inhale, hips forward and up, follow the extension. One more time, hips forward, exhale, drop the hands back down to the ground, and then inhale, send the hips up and forward. After three, bring yourself back to Samasthi D. Inhale, raise the arms. Uh -oh. Dway, exhale, uh -oh. fold forward and down. Oh, that's gonna do. Oh, that's gonna Training, do. inhale, lift your head, look up, create the space in the pelvis. Chatwari, exhale, jump back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Pancha, inhale, upward facing, and Shab, exhale, downward facing. Pashimatanasana, preparing for the counter stretch to back bend. Sub the inhale, jump through in your easiest way, and then exhale down. 
straighten your legs, wrap your hands around your feet. Ashto, inhale, create the space. Nava, exhale, fold. Stay here for 10 deep breaths until you feel your back really release. Don't force yourself to fold deeply forward right from the beginning. Slowly lose, use your breath and slowly use the full 10 breaths to reach your maximum forward fold. Keep the posture really active. Suck in the low belly, squeeze your thighs towards each other, place the base of the big toes into each other. Breathe into the lungs and through your diaphragm, but keep the pelvic floor engaged and the low belly strongly sucked in. You could take your head onto your shins and just relax deeply into the posture, letting this counter stretch really create a bookend to the deep purification of the primary series. Dasha, inhale, look up, lengthen, exhale there. Hands to the floor, Ekadasha, inhale, take it up. Dwadasha, exhale, Chaturanga. Trayogdasha, inhale, upward facing. Chaturdasha, exhale, downward facing. Preparing for the closing postures. Sapta, inhale, jump all the way through and exhale, lie down. Take a moment here to equalize your breath and calm the mind. Squeeze your thighs together, keep your hands next to your hips, close your feet. Pause here and feel everything drawing into the center line. Then, Ashto, inhale, come right up into Sarvangasana, shoulder stand. Lift your feet all the way up, try not to take them down. Press your hands into the low back, squeeze your thighs into each other and point your toes strongly up to the ceiling. Draw the lower ribs in towards the central axis, gently tuck the tailbone and point your toes firmly. Flatten your hands onto your back and avoid pressing only with the fingertips, otherwise you might put a little pressure on your wrists. Squeeze your elbows towards each other and really stand on your shoulders to support your neck. No pressure in the very back of the neck. Gently rest your chin on the sternoclavicular joint, creating a lock between these two. Long inhalation, long exhalation. Start to use the closing postures to turn deeply inward, especially if you worked real hard throughout the practice. Take the full breaths in the closing postures. Moving on to Halasana position. Ashto, exhale, Halasana position. Lower your feet down to the floor, bind your hands behind your back, interlocking the fingers. Point your toes and keep the hips lifting up even as you squeeze the sitting bones towards each other. Keep the spine straight, lower ribs draw into the center line, and of course the pelvic floor is strongly sucked in. Then bend your knees for Karnapidasana, Ashto, go down. Squeeze your knees onto your ears, point your toes, close your heels and your feet towards each other. Even if your knees don't reach the ground, just squeeze your ears with your knees and you'll get that release through the lower back. Press your shoulders into the ground, keep the fingers interlocked and let your spine round for this posture. Keep the breath steady and calm, then hands to the lower back. Inhale, come all the way up, then take lotus position or the modification. Hands to your knees, Nava, inhale, Urdhva Padmasana. Straight elbows balancing on your shoulders while at the same time lifting your hips up with the power of your pelvic floor. Wrap your fingers around your knees, although you're pressing on the hands, the work of the posture is done deep in the core of the body. Balance is a state of mind, so remain calmly balanced as you focus your mind deep into the center of your body. Eight long, steady breaths here. The pelvic floor is sucked in. The lower abs draw deep into the body. Pindasana, Nava exhale as you fold your lotus onto your torso, binding your hands around your thighs. Suck in the low belly and hollow out the pelvis. Hold onto your wrist or your fingers around your lotus. Aim your shins towards your forehead as you keep space deep in the center of the body. If you have the flexibility, press your heels into the interior space of the pelvis. Maintain the strength of the shoulders so you're still standing on your shoulders. Don't smush the back of your neck into the ground. Keep the low belly sucked in and the spine nice and elongated. Then exhale, gently roll all the way down, propping yourself up onto your elbows to lift the spine into a nice extension. Nava, exhale, Makdhyasana, fish posture. Hold on to the tops of your feet, straighten out your elbows, and aim your knees to the ground. Pivot deep into your hip joints to activate that spinal extension, nutating the sacrum, pressing the hands onto the feet, and staying here for nice long breaths. Breathing calm and steadily into the center of the body, feel the connection from your breath into a calm and stable mind and a healthy, free body. Moving into Uttana Padasana, Nava, inhale as you stretch out your arms and legs. Make sure that the arms and the feet are parallel to each other. So you squeeze the thighs together, point your toes strongly. Keep the sacrum mutated and the spine extended as you suck in the low belly and elongate the spine out of the depth of the center of your pelvis. Steady and strong breathing as you exhale, lower down, keep your legs up. 
Hands right under your shoulders. Dasha, inhale, take Chakrasana, backwards roll. This will help release your back and your spine after that long hold in shoulder stand. Step your legs forward and then exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Ekadasha, inhale, upward facing. Dwadasha, exhale, downward facing. Prepare for Shirshasana, headstand. Step to prepare, exhale as you take your head down, build the foundation in your arms, press up with the shoulders, stand your legs up. Once you maintain that foundation, Ashto, inhale, lift all the way up and find the center line in your headstand. Press down into the shoulders, engage the muscles of the rotator cuff. Make sure there's not too much weight on the top of the head, that the shoulders are doing the work by pressing strongly up into your foundation. Draw the lower ribs in towards the center line and see if you can find the vertical line with your body, the vertical line that you create by squeezing the thighs together, controlling your pelvic floor, and pointing the toes up to the ceiling. Be as steady and calm in one place as you can, finding your center line and letting the center line easily take you into the posture. Elongate the pace of inhalation, elongate the pace of exhalation. When you're starting out in headstand, 15 breaths is a good place to aim for. And you can increase that from up to 25 breaths, even up to 50 breaths, depending on how much time you have and how much endurance your muscles have through the practice. The gaze is steady towards the tip of the nose. The mind is calm and inwardly focused. Point your toes up to the ceiling, stay steady and calm. Find the vertical line and maintain your whole strength around that vertical line that will help keep your body in a calm and steady balance. Keep pressing up with the shoulders at your foundation, so press the elbows down, feel the strength of the shoulders, squeeze the low belly deep inside. Find your center in the posture and then exhale. Lower down to the half headstand. Nava, come into this position, the half headstand, as you suck the belly deep into the center of the body, drawing the lower ribs in. Use your abdominal muscles to support your body as you squeeze your legs towards each other, point your toes and squeeze the thighs towards each other. Strong shoulders are your foundation, no pressure in the neck. Use the strength through this posture. Then inhale, come all the way up, find your balance, stabilize the posture, press into your shoulder girdle, and then slowly exhale, dasha all the way down. Come to child's pose, and in child's pose, keep your hands outstretched in front. Don't bring them back. Squeeze the knees together and gently round your back so that you can relax the whole spine. Let the back of the neck elongate. Let everything relax, dropping down into the center of your body. Soft, steady inhalation. Soft, steady exhalation. Turn the mind strongly inward. It's important to stay in child's pose after headstands so that you can feel the blood equalize and your mind can be a calm and meditative flow. Then, Ekadisha, exhale, jump back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Dwadisha, inhale, upward facing. Trayogdisha, exhale, downward facing. Bend your knees, Sapta, inhale, jump all the way through, straighten your legs, sit down. Bhada Padmasana, first, Ashto, take Padmasana position, so first bind your lotus position. Mm -hmm. Then, reach your hands around the back, holding on to your lotus feet, suck the belly strongly in. Then, Yoga Mudra, Nava, exhale, fold down your chin towards the ground. While at the same time you're reaching forward with the torso, pull inside into the depth of your pelvic floor, so you can create hollowness and spaciousness deep in the center of your pelvis. Activate your heels just a little bit so you can press into your pelvic cave, the deep center of the pelvis where it's hollow and spacious. Gaze steadily towards the tip of the nose. Elongate the pace of inhalation. Elongate the pace of exhalation. Make them even and equal to each other, while at the same time using this opportunity to bring the mind into a meditative state. Gaze gently towards the tip of the nose. Even as you inhale, come all the way up, switching the position to Padmasana. Dasha, inhale, take Padmasana position. Chin down, gaze at the tip of the nose. Keep the belly sucked in, 10 long, steady breaths here. Use the activation of the pelvic floor to root down each inhalation. Then use the activation of the pelvic floor to elongate each exhalation. Feel that the sound of the breath is like the tide moving in and out of the body. And let each inhalation carry with it the memory of the exhalation. And let each exhalation carry with it the memory of the inhalation so that these two sides of the breath are like the yin and the yang, carrying balance 
with its very nature deep into the center of the body. Gaze at the tip of your nose, lift the spine up and out of the pelvic floor. Keep the elbows completely straight. First two fingers are pressed together. The other three fingers, little finger, ring finger, and middle finger, all straight and closed together. Every inhalation lifts the center of the chest up to the chin. Every exhalation lets the chest drop down along the central axis of the body, rooting down into the pelvic floor. Follow the sound and the rhythm and the pace of your own breath, making sure to keep inhalation and exhalation even and equal in measure. These breaths charge up the center of the body. So now we're ready for Udblutihi. A Kadesha, inhale, lift up for 10 deep breaths for Udblutihi. Don't come down. Press up with the shoulders, use your core. Keep the feet in front of the hands or in front of the wrists so that you can really feel the center of the body lifting. Suck in the low belly, use your legs to lift the knees ever so slightly. Press up with the shoulders. Keep the belly drawn in, activate your core. The mind is steady and calm. Focus on the inhalation and exhalation. Let that root down into the center of the pelvis. Don't give up, you can do it just a little more. If you went down, pick it back up. Then when it's time to jump back, you can curl your toes. Dwadisha, exhale, chaturanga. Trayo, disha, inhale, upward facing. Chaktur, disha, exhale, downward facing. Bend your knees, pancha disha, inhale, jump forward, lift your chest, look up, Still there? show disha, Still there? exhale, fold I forward so. and down, pivoting through the hip joints. From samasthitihi, your hands are in prayer, the thumbs press gently into your heart center. Let this closing prayer resonate through your heart and dedicate the merits of the practice to your own peace and ultimately to the peace of all beings. Somebody text it. Swasti prajabya body palayantam. No yena magena. Mahi mahi shaha. Go brahmanegaha. Puram, what? Sweet with her. Go brahmanegaha. Shiva master nityam. Lokaha samastaha. Sukino bavantu. Ah, still on, still on. My hubby, my hubby just uh, did text or something. So, okay. Shanti, shanti, shanti. He just takes it. Okay, hold on. What was the text? Hmm? Ah, okay. Ah, da, 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 da. Okay. All right. Ah, somebody says something about my soul. I do my soul practice. Somebody says something about my soul. I do. Hmm? 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 Ah, oh, oh, you mean uh, India? <laughs> India. <laughs> uh, about, about India. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know if I, I don't know, I didn't want to go there now. Uh, oh my God. So I said, yes, India. <laughs> I, I thought you were talking about my soul practice. Okay. So yes, India, India. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching today. I needed you guys. <laughs> I needed you guys. Today's, ah, hi Eric kun Today's practice was like, ah, uh, yeah. I, I have those days too, man, recently. I have those days. So thank you. Thank you for watching and 
Thank you for the heart. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a great day. Bye. Enjoy your holiday. Bye-bye.